pleasure to open this new facility and I, I'm sure it will be of great benefit to all the youngsters as well as adults. So, on one, two, three. Ready? I'm delighted we've been able to open the bunker here at Hatfield Police Station today because we're really privileged to be custodians of this fine Art Deco building that was part of the de Havilland site here at Hatfield from 1930 and you know we've been in it since 2008. The rooms we're in at the moment were used as storerooms by us um, but you know, we've come to realise you know, these were the air raid shelters for Geoffrey de Havilland and his senior team and to now convert these into a museum that describes the history of the building and the site that we're on, plus what we're now doing using the building for in policing terms is just fabulous. The volunteers have done such a brilliant job down here um, and to be able to now use it also to engage school children to help to understand the history of this building of Hatfield itself and as an introduction to the police is just such a fabulous initiative um, and I take my hat off to all the people who have volunteered to help put this together it's brilliant. So the reason why this is so important for us in Welland Hatfield and all of the Hertfordshire community is because um, learning about the history not only of the Havilland and of Hatfield itself but of policing is, is really important to understand where we've come from and where we want to go. The journey for the museum and the bunker doesn't end with this museum. It goes much further into the future so having uh, members of our local schools, primary, secondary schools to come and visit and learn about what is policing all about, that policing uh, is really important for them when they don't feel safe or they need some help or they need some guidance or just to be able to build those bridges with our leaders of the future because some of the students who come to our police station for a visit may be the future chief inspectors of Welland and Hatfield and we want to encourage and build that relationship and to take this bunker project forward we'll be holding a number of community engagement events just at the front on the green in Hatfield police station in order to encourage and continue building trust and confidence in policing not only with the adults but our young future leaders. We are a small museum with a big message and that message is for the community. We are the current guardians and myself and Alistair, we have come in here with one goal, prevention first, protecting the next generation, showing them that they can be proud of the area and teaching them about the building. We are, we are lucky to be in a grade two Art Deco listed building a lot of people wouldn't realise that going back to the 30s this building was still here. It was brand new and it had to Havilland aircraft and they contributed so much to the, the world of aviation. Yeah, the Havilland was a fascinating company. It started literally with two people who were friends from another um, line of business. They worked in the automotive industry before the First World War. Um, and. They were both fascinated by the exploits of people who had already started learning to fly, like the Wright brothers and people like that. They loved that idea and eventually they decided to make their own dream a reality and they wanted to do it for themselves. They were able to get access to a small amount of cash and from that they built their own flying machine and they flew it and it crashed. Uh, and so nothing deterred, they, they built another one and, and that worked. And it worked um, so well that they eventually um, went on to become professional engineers and professional aircraft designers, uh, which led in turn at the end of the First World War to them gaining the capital, securing the capital funding to set up by themselves and so was born the de Havilland Aircraft Company in 1920. It was so successful it had to move out of its original premises in Edgware in northwest London because it was just too big, it was making too many aircraft and that's how de Havilland came to Hatfield. The history of aircraft manufacturer at Hatfield is one that the people of Hatfield should be very proud of. Um, it really is such an integral part, not just of Hatfield, but of Hertfordshire as a whole. Hertfordshire is an aviation county, uh, and I think we should be very proud here in Hatfield Police Station that we can do our part to tell that story uh, and to an audience that needs to have that story told to them because they need to be inspired to become the next generation of scientists and engineers. Um, as a museum curator, um, I've been in the museum's business now for about uh, four or five years, it's very rare to build a museum from scratch. It's very rare to start off by walking into 
uh, for little empty rooms with absolutely literally nothing in them at all. Bare walls, bare floors, nothing. No lighting, anything. Uh, and to be able to go in there and being given the brief to create a museum um, is just incredible. Uh, and I've loved every moment of it. It's been a fantastic, it's been a very rigorous mental exercise to think, well, what do we have in here? What do we not have in here? Um, it's wonderful. And it's explaining, carrying on that story for the kids and getting them interested in STEM subjects. And we have the police room to keep them, you know, to keep them, I suppose, studying and away from crime, away from getting, in, getting themselves into trouble, where they have a friendly policeman to speak to uh, and, and taking it from there.